What's up guys and welcome back to another Funko Friday episode and as you can see I've got a massive haul today so I'm doing the unboxing of basically everyone I used to get stuff from so uh, I think I've got one stop pop shop here I've got wizard toy stop what well, wizard toy shop here um, this one is uh, shop and ship this one will probably be which one this is gonna be my grail box this is definitely my grail box and this one the bottom one is from source pop so i'll leave a link in the description to all of these places you can actually definitely check them out and um, yeah hopefully you will see something you like and you can actually get them so i'm going to move them aside and start opening them one by one and just show you what i actually got from them so let me just move this to the side so i can actually sit down and otherwise this is going to take so long and um let me just get this to the side uh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm moving in from one side to the next side. Oh, okay. So, let's start off with Trusty Old Mike. So, I've got one stop. Now, this is one stop shop. As you can see, logo always there. And um, this I got from Shop and Chip. It's an online store here in SA. So, just go into the website and you can just order the pops. And usually, I think I only have received maybe one time the box damage usually it actually comes fine if you've got any issues just send it back and they will just send it a new one to you or they will refund you if you want to so be careful and you can see it's safe hands so this is two I just randomly saw I wanted to get them and um, I'm actually so glad I got them I wanted to uh, actually uh, get them from overseas and then lucky enough they brought it in so Two Funko Pops, empty box, and as always, decently wrapped, always bubble wrap to bubble wrap. Now, what did I get from them? Okay, so first of all, I got the new Mr. Bean. So, I've got the other two already, so box is in perfect condition, nothing wrong with that. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, I'll put up afterwards a picture. This is the new Mr. Bean, it's not the old one. I currently have the old one there, and I've got the chase. Now, this one also comes with a chase. I think it's very similar. This is him in his pajamas. So, it's basically him, the chase version. It's just him, him holding his teddy bear as well. So, this is the first one. Just had to have the new Mr. Bean, so I'll be looking out for the chase as well. Just put that to one side. And then the other one is Scott Howard. Now... This is the original Teen Wolf. Now, this one was, was actually heavy. Was portrayed by Michael J. Fox. So, um, so it's just, oh, box is a little bit dented, but I can live with that until I get a new one. It's just, you guys won't see it. Probably, but yeah, it's gonna irritate me, most likely. So, um, small dent, but nonetheless, still great condition. So, this would actually be a great pop if it was flocked as well. So I can actually see them making one of them. It's not a bobblehead. So I had to get this one, seeing that it's a cult classic. So glad to have that one. Bubble wrap out of the way. So next up, I've got One Stop Pop Shop. So Neil over in the, the Cape area. Lucky him. Um, got this from him. I can't even remember what it was. A lot of them I actually can't remember, but I know some. So let me just open it up slightly. And as always, you know, uh, once the pop shop wrap stuff, so it's always going to be good. It's just all the plastic that we covered with from the postal service. And we can feed Dumbo again, so we've got all the great. Ooh, nice. Thanks, Neil. He actually sent me an awesome one stop sh sticker. So this is going to be great. I'm going to mount this somewhere where you can actually see this constantly. So, Neil, thanks for this. I'll put this one. It's not going to be on the table, but I'll put it somewhere. It's going to be great. Okay. So back it peanut peanuts peanut. Okay, maybe remove that. Just actually throw the Dumbo section into the other section, so we can feed Dumbo later. It's probably falling everywhere except where it's supposed to. And as you can see, a lot of protection. Will it ever end? Okay. Ha! Ah. Okay, Neil, 
thanks for the peanuts, Dumbo appreciates it. And just have to get rid of it so my kids or the dog don't eat it. So, these two are just basically, this one I had to get just to finish, the, well not finish the collection, but start of a collection. And this is just one of a kind, just had to get it. Just something that you don't see every day, well, like the guys in the States probably do. But over this side, yeah you don't. So as you can see, I've got an awesome Ellen Generous Pop. So only the one in the series and it's going to be great next to my Conan collection there. So super glad I got this one as well. So one stop pop shop, thanks for this one. Looks great. And then this is the Amazon exclusive War Machine from Infinity. Oh well, from Avengers Endgame. Also a nice pop protector. So I've got the original one somewhere at the back here. But um, as you know, there's normal one and then the... The one with the space suit, which I don't like really, but yeah, that's how they came out. So this is the one with the space suit. The other one is actually the normal one. And um, but I like the fact that it's got its Amazon stick on. So let's put that aside. Now let's get to, this is the wizard toy shop. I can't remember what I ordered from Shaheed, but now I don't mind. So I already just opened the top section and these packings also immaculate. So I got these for taking out my stress legs on, because I think everyone's got stress nowadays. And um, oh, these are some I actually wanted. So also all of them come in great um, pop protectors. It's not the stack ones, but still great condition. So this is the original it. I've got the original it one stacked there, but this is the black and white version, which is this thing just looks super amazing. So black and white version. Then, let's grab this one. Um, now, this is the Marvel Falcon, still the original one. And the reason I got this one is because African Comic Con is only a couple of days away. I think about 40 days or something, somewhere now in September 21st. So, Anthony Mackie that currently portrays the Falcon is going to be there. So, hopefully, I'm going to get this bad boy signed there. So, um, hopefully, I'll meet it. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So then I've got Elf, Buddy Elf. And the reason for this, now this is a Funko limited edition. So it's him actually holding a raccoon. Really don't think you can see it in the, from the camera point of view, but I'll show you close up. I just had to get him because currently I've got the whole set, everything and the exclusives and everything. So it's just basically, yeah, the movie was meh, but still just finishing a collection. So it's kind of an itch you just have to scratch. And then I've got Wolfgang. So previously I've got the other one. I still have to post that video. Oh, well, that video is there. I think you're right here. That one will be before this one. In any case, I still have to upload everything, but it should be here. And we can see where I got all the spastic plastics from um, Jared and Angela. So this is just uh, the pink version, which is I'm super glad to get because it's just getting me to that well, collection of all the spastic plastic, everything I want to get. So let's just move them aside. Now to get to the section that um, I'm calling this my grail box. Okay, wait, two of them actually. So this one is from, so wait, wait, wait. Is this Sauce Pop? <sighs> I'm not sure which one is which. I don't want to open the wrong one. Let me first open this one, yeah. This is the lighter version. Now this is from Sauce Pop. I also have a website. A cool website and a Facebook page. Leave a link in the description. So, also a couple of stuff from them in the past. Uh, great shipping, great service. And this is from the ah, San Diego Comic Con. And it's what I really didn't think I was going to get. I didn't even know about the one, to be honest. But I'm super excited to get it. Well, when he actually posted it, I just said basically I wanted the first one. And then when I saw the first one, I saw the second one. And uh, Temptation got the of me. And I had to get the other one as well. So, as you can see, this thing is properly wrapped as always. And then... What, what would we do without knives? This is a normal just kitchen knife. It's got specific ones, but... Uh, so much easier for that then we have a lot of i can probably wrap the whole bloody south africa with all the bubble wrap i've already received from uh, jared and angela in the previous one um, but yeah besides that 
Okay, so, first of all, ah, let me grab this one. Now, as you can see, I'll put that one there. This is the uh, 2019 Summer Convention. This was the San Diego Comic Con. And this is Jaws. Now, this is the Pop Ride similar thing, but I mean, I already have in the back the two Great White Shark ones. The one with the normal one and the one with the tank in, and this is just the one where he's biting Quinn. So, um, I mean, I have to, I've got the collection, so might as well just end it on a high note. I've got this one. Box is in super condition. I mean, it's always, well, it's horrible sending the big ones, but just to get it in this condition is awesome. So, thanks again for once, uh, for Sauce Pop for this one. That's the one. When I saw that one, I mean, that's the first one I wanted. <coughs> But then I got Kang and Caduce or something, but these are going to look super awesome with my UV light. So it's a two pack and this also glows in the dark. So I'll do a separate video on this, showing you guys actually <coughs> how to get the best out of your glow in the dark Funko Pops. So this is a super awesome pop. I think this thing is already running around $120, $130 now. Um, so this in its essence is already this one and this one can be seen as almost grail so and the reason i'm mentioning that is because this one i got from louis who's also the same guy that made me that awesome the funko display so if you want one of those awesome custom made ones definitely contact him so um this is my grail box now for people that's new to funko pops grail actually has two meanings and it depends from collector and there's a massive debate between it because Grail can either mean it's massive expensive or just it's rare or it does mean something to you. It might be a common pop to someone but it might have a significant, not value, but something personal to you. Maybe um, you've got the Justin Bieber and um, you met him or so, I don't know. Um, super glad for you. But then um, that means that's a Grail for you. I mean, or something that's been signed by that. So these in my opinion is grails for me so due to the fact that it's limited in uh, the amount there's not a lot of them available and um, also two of them is just as nostalgic and currently i can't find them here in this and i mean i've even asked most of to look for me in belgium because i mean two of them are definitely and just look at how awesome this is wrapped thanks again louis for this so um, two of them are basically from uh, well from France, Belgium, that origin. So uh, hopefully I can find them first because I know what the rest are, and I've been having this for a while. So uh, let me just let me just open this. We protected these so well, but I have to say I, I fully understand why. So let me just. If we just put everything on the table and then I'll just open it like that. That's going to be easy. I'll put it down. down there three. That's the one. I mean, all of them, in my opinion, are grails. This is grail for me. It might be comments for someone else. So, um, like I said, value is one thing, but then the other thing is also the rarity. So, like these two, I'm going to open you and show you now. We can't find yet. So you have to rely on eBay or well not even Amazon and then you're lucky enough if you find them and they get chipped here without any damage. That being said, Asterix. Now we grew up with Asterix and I mean the old comics, the original books, not even the comic books. So um, I'm so excited to finally have this one. I knew he had it and he finally decided to sell it and um, I mean this is just so classic. So I mean it does come from um I'm not sure where it's actually from but still this is super super glad this is going not in the vault but this is my grail my grail section is starting to grow so it's not that valuable these two but due to the fact that it's rare the fact that you can't get it i mean you're not going to find it at your local stores here and you're lucky enough if someone can find them overseas that it's mainly europe you're most likely to find these and to complete the set, I have Oblix. So, and he's a massive Funko Pop. I mean, I mean, I know in the cartoons he's small and he's bigger, but even on the back they look the same size. But trust me, 
he's got a massive head so super glad for these two they definitely going there that's my grail collection and then i've got freddy funko's which i'm super awesome i, I just love freddy funko i mean it's their own versions and um and a lot of them are so expensive now i mean with the san diego Com comic con that's just well just around the corner that just passed by i mean i fought the sort of venom ones i mean they were just released but there was like 25 of them available and um they're already running for about four to five thousand dollars on ebay so um this one was not that expensive but um still i just wanted him now this is a 2015 pop asian funko exclusive so this is freddy funko as the monkey king so okay you can't see there so you can see him he's got the robes on so i do have the monkey king black and white there in the back i think i also got it from him so i thought got that one why not have freddy funko himself as the monkey king so that's the one and let me just see the two that i needed to finish my one other collection of freddy funkos and that should be these two now, i do have a duplicate of this um so I will probably maybe sell this one or trade it to someone. I have the one, and this is Freddy Funko, and this one was, which one is this? The San Diego Comic Con, which year? 2018? So last year's Comic Con. And this one was Freddy as a robot. And this is the purple version, and this one was limited to 2,000 pieces. So this one, I think I have the purple one or the black one, doesn't matter. I've got one of these. So, but I needed the other one just to finish the set. So, super glad I have that one. And I like the fact that it's limited. It's only limited to 2,000 of them. And um, that's the other thing. That also makes it a grail if it's limited in quantity. It doesn't mean it's, um, people want them, but I mean, I like Freddy Funko. I mean, it's their mascot as well. So, same one. Well, not the same one. This one is limited to 5,000. So, I think I need the black one. I think I already have that one. If that is the case, I'll probably end up not keen on selling. I'm not a flipper, so I'll probably trade someone for him for something else that I really need. So this is another one. Now, these two are basically part of the grail section for me. So this is two bit older ones, also Freddy Funkos. So I can just get through the uh, bubble wrap. They're making it so difficult. All of them in decent pop protectors. Now this one is Freddy Funko as Mitch Buchanan from Baywatch. Now the nice thing about this one is this one is from the 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. But the nice thing about this one, there was only 450 pieces available. So currently I've got one of them. I'm one of the 450 lucky people that has this one. So which is super awesome. So I mean that in itself, in my opinion, grail worthy. In my opinion. Um, and then, the last, but not least, I'm not going to do unboxing of these, as I still have a lot to do unboxings of, but I mean, this is just to get everything out of the boxes, and I can place them somewhere. I mean, this room is filling up with boxes, empty boxes, full boxes. Ah, and this one is Freddy Funko, also from San Diego Comic Con 2017, also limited to 425 pieces. Now, this is Freddy Funko with his tuxedo on, and I can't really see. I think he looks like greenish. I have to take him out of the box, which I'm reluctant to do, but I think it's a greenish. Let's get this out. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this it looks like a green, the green version. And I mean, a lot of them are already close to $100 or over $100. No, this one is $120. This one might be $125, $150. It depends. I mean, you guys know how the prices were currently on price, well, proper price guide or the Funko app. So it's up and down. So, yeah. But, I mean, super excited just to have these in my collection because my pretty Funko collection over there is growing and I'm just super stoked. So, just once again, I'm just going to put all of them here and I'll show you guys some photographs. Just want to say thank you again to Shop and Chip, One Stop Pop Shop, Wizard Toy Shop. Uh, who else was the uh, source pop definitely and then Louis for hooking me up with all these grails uh, I'll leave a link in the description to all of the places so definitely go and check them out and um, thanks for sticking around till the end for this just physically taking them out of the boxes hope you guys liked it 
And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys.